to my youtube channel welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be talking about payments with um with ussd codes on paystack so um let's dive straight into it so look at the uh, documentation here and you see that um this is actually for nigerian customers and um we know very well that several banks perform ussd services so you just type with your phone star something so star let's say star one two three star four star amounts or something hash then you get your um you get your payment done immediately so they'll provide this service on paystack also so let's continue you can see the banks not all banks are supported on paystack yet so we have just a few of them um the guaranteed trust bank uba sterling and zenith so these are their unique codes that um the banks use so we'll just we'll go straight to the um to the code so we can see how it works okay so let's dive straight into the code okay so we are here the code base now so this is the normal structure i've been using for my projects uh, we have the back end we have the front end we have the um this vendor who's the package the package i'm using to be able to access my dot env file so um that is it here yeah? so we have the env file we have the composer.json we have the package of log uh, we have the config.php so um this i actually use this to fetch my secret key before i can use it elsewhere to get so I will have my readme file here. So this is it here. So the readme file is here. That shows the installation process, how to set this project up on your system. And um, if you care to to um, integrate, to um, um, collaborate on the project or to add new things to it, so feel free to do that. So continue. Um, go straight to the back end here. So this is how the back end looks like. Okay, so these are the um, banks here listed here. Now this is data that we are bringing back that we are sending to the API. We are sending the um, email amount USS the, the type if you get now, and this type is specific on the bank that we are using. So if we are to use um, GTB, if we are to use GTB three seven three seven UBB nine one nine and so forth. So that is just the way it is then. You can add the value and display name and other custom fields that you want to information you want to get from your customers. So you can continue like that. So don't forget you have to add your um, secret key. Yeah, you add your secret key here, your paystack secret key. So that's why I use an EMV file. So you are not supposed to type your keys in your code. No, you're supposed to import it from your EMV file. So that is it. Okay. Then I return false. Then um, I return the response. That's all. So let's go down to the front end and see how. It, let's go to our browser and see how it looks like. Okay. So. Okay. So this is how it looks like. So um, you could actually provide um, the customer can provide this information select the bank so this is where you'll be able to pass the code the um the ussd type to your backend so i will get down to it so let's just look at it um gtb amount thirty thousand display name payment for data so just do um monthly data i know i know a lot of us pay for data as much as this or even more yeah so i'll just click on submit so this actually generates the code for us here so we can now type it on our phone and continue our transaction so let's go down to the front end <coughs> let's go down to the front end okay So our front end code comes like this. Okay, good. Good. <coughs> so, so this is my form here. 
this for error and this for success message <coughs> sorry so from here um we, we are able to pass um, let me just minimize this so we are able to pass our banks here so with their value codes here you get now this is very important as we'll be using this yeah so continue then other information here so let's now go down go back to this so um i actually check if the button is clicked if this button is set down here sit here sit here click it so check it then i check email amount <clears throat> these are important fields so any other field that's not important it might be empty might be null so not our problem so we we'll just continue with this and um let's look at it here let's look at it here. so we have the data the same data we had in our back end the same data we had in our back end there yeah so you can see it here email amount usa the type so we are going to be passing it into this function so let's go back and see so we are passing it into the function so from here you can see it here email from the form amount from the form type this then sorry i just added something demo here description can be anything so so that's all and um so it's not compulsory so from here now i make i actually um call that function here don't forget you have to import this backend here you have to import it here so um from here i decode the response then if the status is false then display text then do whatever i wish here else um if it's true i display the text also i do whatever i wish here but mind you you have to perform a web hook let's go back to the um documentation so i can explain something to you implementing this requires you write a web hook i have a video on web hook you can please go back and check it out on my youtube channel so let's go back let's look at it so for to handle the response when the user completes payment a response is sent to the merchant web hook hence for this to work properly as expected more web hook must be set up for the merchant so charge of success event is raised on successful payment this sample request sent to users webhook will look like this so you should be expecting something like this on your webhook yeah you're expecting something like this on your webhook so do you get now you should be expecting something like this so once you get something like this on your webhook then you can now continue once it's successful you can this is a success you can continue with whatever you are doing so um probably save it to your database or something so let's just go back and see how it works again let's see how it works again um i put my email address here so i select uba so amount i put one thousand error payment for data and i just put um def data subscription Okay, send this. so it's going to generate for me with UBA. Do you understand? 919. Let's go back and see something. So, UBA is 919. Do you get now? So, it's going to generate that for me. See the code. So, once you type this on your phone, you're going to be able to make payment. Now, you're typing it with the SIM card that is registered with the bank which is the normal thing you get now so once type this on your phone then it now depends on how you're able to um put it up for your customers you get sometimes you just have to generate it in the background and so your customers will don't have to type their name since they're already logged in so just generate it in the background they probably just select a bank then the code comes up pop up then they make their payment so that's just the little trick behind it so for now we are just on the raw basis of everything you get so um i think we are done so make sure you check out the webhook and be able to um 
create your web book and handle this transaction successfully thank you very much i look forward to getting your feedback please share like subscribe and um, let us um, keep building a strong community around um, implementation um, strategies and methods thank you